what's up guys and welcome back to another EVE Online video. Uh, tonight uh, we're in a Loki just exploring a little bit of Nullsec. Um, it's what I fa fancy doing and to be honest uh, while the Yule Festival event is going on it seems like a pretty good time to do it um, because of the filaments for getting uh, out nice and easily. Um, <clears throat> so I've just I've fit up a Loki uh, because my intention is to just pootle around um, some quiet parts of Nullsec for a bit, uh, trying to do some DED combat sites and some relic and data hacking sites as well. Uh, hopefully we can find some ghost sites and, and, th and the like. But yeah, um, that's what we're doing really. Uh, I fit up the Loki and filamented into Null um, a few systems ago um, and I've done one data site while I've been down here but then thought I'd maybe I'd record um, to see if we do anything interesting the only thing though is I have made a couple of mistakes which I will touch on in just a second um, but I guess uh, real quick uh, I'll link a fit the fit in the description but what the thinking behind this Loki fit is um, which I can't take full credit for um, I did get most of it from the youtuber Zach and his videos um, where he was doing this in drone lands um, so be sure to go check him out but basically um, the subsystems uh, I'm not gonna explain tremendously because they're quite complicated but we've gone augmented nuclear reactor covert reconfiguration so that we can fit the covops cloak um, to slip around um, launch efficiency because we wanted to go hams um, but heavy assault missiles and then the wake limiter um, and so then of course we've got our heavy assault missile twos five of them I'll go to simulate so you can see everything um, so five of them plus the cloak and um, sisters probe launcher and probes um, so that we can find the sites and then because we've got missiles in the lows we've just got three ballistic control systems and a guidance enhancer to get really decent DPS to be honest we're at um, 884 with the drones uh, which is just a flight of um, scout drones uh, puts us into yeah oh, nearly 900 DPS um, and then we're cap stable because in the mids we've gone for um, just an afterburner try and keep SIG down but also you know we're not going to be flying really fast anywhere um, as, yeah, and it, you can't really you can't get a prop a big prop mod, uh, what are they called like a warp drive, on with this fit. Um, large shield booster. I've gone Dragaristas to because it was really remarkably cheap. Um, when I bought it, I wanted to go dead space to get the shield rep that little bit higher, but they were really pricey at the moment. Presumably during the event, people have been buying. A few of them and losing a few of them um, but you still achieve 108 HP a second just with the Dregaristas so seemed pretty good um, I've gone to multi-spec shield hardeners uh, to make the to run the resists across there um, Zach uh, swaps one of them for a Kaldari Navy medium shield extender uh, so play with that a little bit and see what you prefer you do get slightly more EHP with the extender, um, but I quite like the idea of more resists. Um, and then a Republic Fleet large cap battery to keep us uh, cap stable. Um, and in the rigs then we've got um, fuel cache partition 2, uh, which gives us more missile range because the flight time is increased by 20%, so our hams will fly 34 kilometers. Um, and hydraulic bay thrusters, I think, is for the. Let's see, is it velocity? Oh, so that's more flight time as well. Um, so neither of them directly impact DPS, but they give us a greater range, basically. Um, and then a gone defense field extender as well, as partly because Zach did, and I wasn't entirely sure. I wanted a little bit more def tank. Um, the resists are pretty even, so I didn't need to go resist specific resist. So we just went a little bit more slab. Probably not the best thing to have gone for because it only added, I think, 750 HP. Um, 
because the, those are because it's percentage based. Those are most effective if you've got the shield extenders. But um, we'll see. Um, I might change that up. And the nice thing about Tech Three Cruisers, if you didn't know, is you can take the rigs off without destroying them. Um, so I might change that up. So that's potentially one of the mistakes I made uh, with my fitting. Another was oh I, I should mention um, so that's for running the DED sites of course, but then I've got my mobile depot and I brought a relic and a data analyzer down with me as well, so that I can refit to hack sites, basically, and the salvage is there for fairly obvious reasons. Um, yes. A couple of mistakes with the fit, and I don't know how one of them happened. Um, I have 80 Sisters Corp scanner pros with me. In fact, I think I have 88, which is annoying. I wanted 16, and I somehow have bought and fit 88 into the fit. And that that you know, that's quite a big, that's not that's quite a lot of wasted cash, right? So that's then six million for 16. Um, so that's what five there's 30 million probably of wasted uh, probes in there so if I do die that's just 30 million down the drain which is a bit annoying um, and the other thing I wanted to do as well is if I come up against uh, ghost hacking sites because I don't have the micro warp drive um, getting around the grid is slow um, to get between the cans so normally like if I'm in my hacking ship I just fly really fast between the cans but I would like to scan them uh, here because I'm not going to be able to get between them all with an afterburner so I meant to bring a cargo scanner with me as well for ghost sites um, and forgot so I might I don't know how long I'll spend on this particular run I might pop back into high sec um, fix these elements maybe swap out that rig for something else if uh, a site doesn't go particularly well and then come back down um, but that's the fit it's not it's not super expensive um, but for a tech 3 like it, it's also like it's cheap enough take another 30 million off it because of all these bloody well, 96 apparently um, yeah so you know you can it's under 600 million if you don't have all the probes with you um, yeah, and then we're just we're just uh, sh heading around Nullsec looking for stuff to do. Generally avoiding people because I'm not PvP fit. I don't have a warp scram with me, so there's no point trying to jump Ishtars and stuff as we come across them. Um, which normally, of course, is it, which way did I come? I've already forgotten. Normally, it's a lot of fun uh, trying to catch Ishtars, but on this occasion, I don't have the ability to pin them down. So we'll just if we come across too many people, we just move on. And yeah, the plan is just going to be to poot around down here, hopefully run some DEDs, get some faction loot. Um, and yes, what I said about the filaments, um, so I've got, you can always obviously get needle jack filaments to jump down here. So I jumped down with um, some noise needle jack filaments. Um, but the nice thing at the moment is you can just get the uh, you just use the high sec event site filaments, and you can just filament straight back into high sec without having to take the poshvan route um, and things. So that's very nice. So now's a good time to do this um, because you can just go do that, and you can of course also use them um, to get around null sec as well. But uh, depending on what you're looking to do, they will drop you in the middle of an ice storm, so the chances of there being people is increased. Drive active. Yeah, just gonna hop around. Um, I don't have an interdiction nullifier so sometimes I'm more careful when I'm warping with gate access but sometimes ping across but we might touch on that if we come across a busy system I'll uh, talk through my thinking. people around I'm in fraternity space so these yeah east window with fraternity so these are all locals Siberian squads are also with frat so we've got locals 
so I don't particularly want to stick around. Plus, there's no signatures. So it's possible this bit of space isn't that good, to be honest. Um, so I might go and change those elements now and then filament back down. Take this and hope it drops me somewhere near a market hub. Change these elements and then, yeah. Pick up a cargo scanner. Drop off all of these ridiculous probes. I was so annoyed when I saw that. Originally I thought it was a bug because it just said 80. I thought, well that's a weird bug. It should just say 8. Launch them and then suddenly I've got 72. It's like, oh man. These guys just sit on station watching the gate. Let's see what this is. And if it's uh, if it's nothing, we will probably jump out now, I think. So we'll see what this is. Um, if it's a DED, I don't know if I'll run it, to be honest. I don't know what the relationship with Test and Frat is. Are they working together at the moment? Definitely helps if you know your Nullsec politics when you're flying around Nullsec. Whatever this is, it's quite a difficult signature. Pretty good scan strength in this 113, not terrible. The trouble is the scan deviation is high, you saw it just bounce around massively then. Level 4 data site, is this just going to be a regular data or do we have a ghost site? My guess is regular data. The local's gone. Limited sleeper cache. Am I going to run them? I don't think I can go in a limited in this ship. Uh, let's double check. Limited sleeper cache. Uh, entry is restricted to frigates. <coughs> so on we go. Which, as I said, means I am going to pop out to <coughs> pop out to high sec and then fill it back in. So I will, uh, I guess you'll rejoin me when we fill it back in. And there's something going on, but yeah, I'm just going to carry on and spend my evening. I guess uh, one thing to look at, just to see how we get on in terms of time-wise, um, it's currently 10 to 10. <coughs> so we'll see if we have much action this evening, if we find much, or if it's a bit of a waste of time. But just like that, we're back in high sec. How close to a mile? Four jumps. Lovely job. Whoop. Okay, we've just filamented back in and into a system with a supercarrier out and about. <clears throat> so we're not going to scan this signature. We're going to try and move on. Uh, I'm in a dead end system though, so how far away is FBH? Go. Go, go, go. Don't want to get stuck. Um, so I did. I did refit the little bits that we discussed. Uh, dropped off most of the probes. Got my cargo scanner, and I did. Um, Kavala Expanse. Where are we now? Drone territory. 
so I did um, swap the the extender for a thermal hardener um, just because I could have gone kinetic um, but I don't want to spend much time in Garista's space because if you're going to do that do it in a Tengu so I've headed um, I hoped that I'd fill it somewhere else um, and I have I'm in drone space so I went thermal for that little bit of extra resist across there to make up for the sem the fact that 750 HP actually it's less uh, 5 625 HP isn't very much uh, but I did bring it with me in case we ended up in um, Kaldari space, uh, sorry, um, Garista space again, then we could refit it. Because as mentioned, that is the glory of Tech 3s, you can take out and refit your rigs. But we're in drone space now, so the hacking sites are only going to be drone data sites, there will be no relic. Because we're in the Kavala Expanse. Wait, yeah, Kalavala. There will be no relic, and the combat sites will just be drones. Like an in independence. So, first combat site. I guess let's uh, pop in, keep an eye on local, and see. Do I need to swap anything? I don't think I need to swap anything. Head over to the Eve University wiki to check the triggers and all that kind of good stuff. We'll see what we end up with. Might not go through the whole thing, um, or speed it up or something, because this might take a while and it's not the most interesting activity, but the loot might be nice. Apparently the first room, the gate is not locked, but there are a couple of scramming frigates, so we will burn to the gate while we take them out. Which two is it? The strain decimator LVs. These two. What are the drone resists? EM is the hole. Okay, nice. Because my drones are also EM. And we've got nice damage. So that's no problem. Good application with the faction missiles. Work our way over to here. We are cap stable, so I don't need to pulse this. Uh, but sometimes it just feels like good practice to only pulse it and not just leave it running permanently. No idea why these haven't actually got me locked. Why? Just heard a decloaking animation. There's no one in local, so I don't know what that was about. I've not used this layout, the the core layout for this Loki before. I always use um, the uh, what's the other one of these variations. I pretty much always use the immobility driver, so I'm not used to Loki looking like this. Um, I like it though. He looks good. Second room, what are we doing? Okay, we've got to kill these to trigger the spawn. Uh, Emolia Rage. 
I don't particularly want to fight everything else if I can avoid it, but apparently these three are what triggers the next wave and they eventually get us through to the um, sentient drone. Don't know if it's worth dropping drones as well, but let's find out. So we go for the three Alvis controllers, <coughs> then there'll be um, three more battleships spawn with some elite cruisers. We've got to kill the matriarchs, those elite battleships, and then um, then there'll be quite a big wave spawn. bunch of triggers but uh, I only, I'm only interested in the sentient so we'll see what we end up with it's nice that they're not coming over for now So these are actually Alvis Queens, not Matriarch Alvis. Drones behave yourselves please. They're worth a lot though. They're oh, and the Sentient spawned already. Well, I feel like there's a whole... Oh, okay, so, sorry, attacking any of this wave spawns the sentient so now I'll kill this for the bounty but then we'll go straight for the sentient which has a really nice bounty on it 11 million and we seem to be having no problems tanking still so nice and easy and fast we will be running as many independences as we can Have the decloaking animation again. For a wormhole, that's a scary bug. <laughs> if it's a bug, just hearing the decloak animation. Not fun. Okay, let's go open this. And we'll probably salvage it as well, because why not? rubbish loot but because the bounty is only is 11 million as well that's not too bad okay we have someone from northern coalition in here so we will get out while we can really should have set up a safe of course um, if we're being sensible about these things but we didn't look up. Independence done. Um, not much in the way of loot um, but some bounty will come in. Oh. Quite a lot of bounty in the bank. And we move on. So I just discovered I was heading down a um, kind of a long dead end um, and there's a few people in this system and you know if I end up down there then I can be thoroughly trapped so we've turned around slow boating back to this gate and then then we'll get out 
Again, I, I want to know more about the politics because we've got obviously we're in Horde space and we've we've got Pandemic Horde. But then here I have a fraternity member, a Horde and frat friends. I mean, I guess so. Or he's over, he's over here trying to get them. Let's see, so this path now is becoming busier. People may be heading down here to get me, or maybe the frat member, Northern Coalition, Horde. Well, we'll see if we can jump out of this dead end and uh, see where we end up. Malediction. As long as he's not crashing, we can warp before he jumps. Yeah. Alright. And then we'll go a different route. Where are we going to go? So that was a dead end as well. Ooh, we're actually in a bit of a pocket, so I need to get out here. And then once I'm into Blue Jay, I should be able to pop around a bit more, so let's head up to yeah. So this is what I was talking about earlier actually, um the gate is 17 AU away from me, so I cannot see if there's a bubble or a gate camp or something. So we want to change the angle of approach, um, and you know, so this angle is not great. That angle is probably not great either because people might be hopping through from there. So I want to zoom in on here and completely change my angle of approach to the gate and get in in close enough range to be able to scan it. So by getting the other side of the gate they won't expect me to warp from that angle because there's nothing out there to the bubble uh, I should avoid any bubbles um, but as it happens there is nothing on the gate the people that I guess they've been ratting there's a serious amount in the bank um, but yes these are these are kind of things you need to think about if you're gonna hop through and and be a little bit safer Okay, and now I'm disturbing a mining fleet, um, so they're not going to be thrilled with me. Where do I want to go next? I'm in the middle of a horde. Not bad by those things. Um, I'm going to head into Malpais. I'm going to go down here. What gate is that? Seven Tac. Uh, it's far away, so. Um, Wrong one. Where is seven tack over here? Ooh, not a good one for angles. Uh, because especially as uh, that might be okay. Nah, uh, just going straight there. Can't get close enough to scan it. So let's go. Ah, see, they're going to be annoyed. <laughs> have they had to. Are they on a moon, or have they all. Yeah, they've all had to. Tether because an unknown, a hostile unknown has entered system. And so now they might be out looking for me to find out what's going on. I mean, it's one. It's probably just one or two characters. I mean, look at all these Kevins. D tap, so that they're, they're just going to be two people at most. Oh. Why is it so busy? Hold, hold, hold. All 
Little Horde. Ratting again. So that's the other thing I should do, I guess. I should check the agency and see where it's. there's a lot going on. I want to go where there is um, not much happening. Why have I forgotten how to... There we go, exploration, ESS. All the banks have stuff. Oh, it's because I've min main bank value. Here we go, I want to end up in these places. Don't do much ratting. So what if I head over here? In Ethereum reach and just see what we see along the way. Oh, I don't particularly want to go back through that system though. Um, let's try a different one because I don't, yeah, I don't want to go and disturb that mining fleet again. That's where I put in. Where are you? Same route. Same route. I mean, Ethereum Reach is where I need to go, isn't it? Either way, I'm heading through that system again. So let's warp off, go with our original one, and uh, annoy some miners. Okay, so now we have a couple more elements. I am going to create a safe. So we've got a hierarchy combat site, uh, which we'll see how we get on. Um, I'm going to go for the blitz approach, but that might result in quite a lot of incoming DPS, so we'll see. And then there is a drone data site, which I'll need to refit to hack. Um, so I'm going to create a safe so that we can refit. Well, I'm going to create a semi safe, to be honest. It's not going to be a it's not going to be a proper safe. Um, so I'm just going to do it on the first warp. Not going to come back and do the second warp to create a, a real safe. Well, maybe I will. We'll see. Okay, safe enough. Then let's go and try out the hierarchy. Yeah, so blitz approach. I mean, unfortunately, in the first room, we have to kill everything. There's not, there shouldn't be too much, and it should go quite quickly. What have I got loaded? Uh, Navy, good. And then the second room. We just need to, we're going to try and blitz it, but there'll be a lot of incoming DPS, so we'll see how we get on. And we'll see if we escalate as well. These do escalate sometimes, so we'll see. That's an annoying place to walk in. I'm almost definitely going to bounce off the gate here. I land you there.
going to start slow boating to the gate while I shoot these things but I am going to reload to bigger stuff to shoot these they should come close enough to bother to shoot us again. Why is there a decloaking sound? Wait for a gate spawn in a second. where the frigates they're supposed to be a frigate rat spawn as well but they're not here so hopefully I'm allowed to just warp after this and we are lovely so yeah so this room has a bunch of initial defenders we're supposed to approach the warning sign and then another wave will spawn um, and then we just damage each wave until the supreme alvis and alvis rulers spawn that is supposedly the plan um okay where is the warning sign there but while we're going we are going to take out some cruise missile batteries because I don't really want to tank their damage 
Suddenly the missile batteries have much stronger EM resists, so... Okay, there's the first wave. So now I'm just going to chill. Maybe swing across that way. While I take out a couple more of these. And then we'll go after this first wave. spawning rats. That should have spawned another wave apparently. It did. Um, let's just finish you off. I'm going to turn that on. Not confident about my ability to tank this, but we'll see how we do. Alvis rulers, um, I think, and supreme Alvis parasites. Supreme Alvis parasite, supreme Alvis parasite, and they're what we need to take out. Supposedly. So I'm just going to finish off that queen. Um, don't go too far because of DPS range. Reload while we come back in on that. Kill these three and then supposedly the sentient battleship will spawn. pretty well at the moment. One almost down. How much are they? Alvis Ruler, 768, 712, 712. Okay. Should be enough. And so of course if you don't want to blitz it there is a lot of a lot of this gone grid currently each of the matriarchs and uh 1.1 alvis queens 1.2 so there's plenty of plenty of bounty to be had especially as the payout soon i'm going to run out of my most important missiles quite quickly though so again i'll probably fill them back to high stack to restock at some point maybe come back with quite a lot more I've got more space than I thought I would have to take this one out while we reload. 
Mark 1. Okay, so we have escalated as well. And where is our... Does it always spawn? It should always spawn. Sentient, sentient, sentient. There it is. So we'll take out the sentient, bookmark its wreck, warp out, and then come back and salvage and loot. Only 7 million on this one. But interesting, they've got the um, escalation. That's quite exciting. Um, I really hope... I'm, I'm not going to have enough missiles for this. <laughs> Possibly. And obviously filamenting back in isn't going to bring me back to the same location unless I'm incredibly lucky. Okay, that one's done. That one. Let's save you warp to here and uh, come back and loot and salvage and then we will refit to go and um, hack that as well drop our depot so we can refit but while we wait uh, not sure how long really to wait where is the escalation uh, exploration escalations nine jumps away Bizu tac x Looks like we can blitz a bunch of these, um, so hopefully that's the case. Uh, yeah, let's should be able to warp in there now. Site like despawned, so the rats may have left as soon as it despawned. We'll see. What? Warp drive. What just happened? Oh, okay. The site, the site hadn't respawned, and it walked me to the initial gate. Oh man. I was about to be very annoyed, <laughs> but no, it walked me to the initial gate location. Okay, rubbish loot again. Rubbish loot. Have a quick salvage. What do we get currently? 39.7, so let's see if we get anything. One and a half out of the previous one. 674. So rubbish, rubbish. Let's go refit, go hacking that, and then I'm going to go and do my escalation, and we'll see how we get on with that, because, um, you know, it could be in a populated system. 
probably have to go and check out Dotlan. See how careful we have to be. This is a data site, so I'll be refitting to my data. I do have um, a black glass implant in as well, um, just because I kind of always have one in. Um, they only affect data analyzers, not relics. So just something, if you're going to do this and you've got the implant in, just something you have to be aware of, uh, that each analyzer will um, react differently. Um, let's use fitting service. Take off one hardener for this. Drop in that. Drop. Let's go hacking. These sites are normally pretty interesting. There'll be three cans, two of them will have exactly the same name, we'll see when we land, and one will be different. The different one is a very difficult red hack, but normally contains no loot. And the loot are in the other two. Um, but you have to hack all three to be able to get it to escalate, and it's the escalations that you want. The loot out of this site will be more or less rubbish. You might get some integrated blueprints, um, but the important, the good stuff is if you can get these to escalate, then in the escalations you have the potential of some augmented drone blueprints, which is the real money. Um, and you have to be able to hack all three successfully to get it to escalate. If you fail one of them, um, definitely if you fail that one, then a couple of small rats spawn, and you can't hack them again until those rats are are dead. These hacks are incredibly easy, the, the other two. Very, very easy. But, almost worthless loot. Integrated hammerhead blueprints there. How many runs? 60 runs. I mean, still, honestly, uh, like a, somewhat frustratingly, that's still pretty worthless. Like, if I hit view in industry, um, 1 million to build, 1 million to buy. So, more or less worthless. So even if you do all 60 runs, right, it's 64.1, 65.8. So, supposedly, 1.7 million profit, but then you got the build costs. So, pretty worthless. And then these are the tough hacks, these are red hacks. Um, again, though, with the black glass implant on the data analyzers, it's pretty easy. Where are we? Nothing in there, and no escalation. Oh, am I going to bump this? Yes, I am. So yeah, that's it. So, uh, what time is it? I guess I'll have scan a little bit as I go along, if the systems are empty see if we've got a few more combat sites but I do want to be careful of my missiles so I might go straight there and run the escalation I am conscious of my number of missiles I have left
of the relevant damage type. Right? I've got loads of missiles here, but there's not point, no, not much point in doing anything other than EM. On we go. Like we were never here. Is that one slightly better? This was a radiance, and we've got twenty eight million. Mostly in the drone cerebral fragments out of that site. Um, I need to keep moving. Did I just walk? stuck around unnecessarily there because um, I thought I might be able to tank it and uh, uh, salvage but it picked up the the last wave it was another bunch of battleships and they were a little bit too much but we'll wait it out <coughs> and then go and salvage Okay, one jump out from my first escalation is a busy system. Let's see what we jump into. The nice thing about escalations is they can only find you if they combat probe you, but um, they know that, of course. And if I start running it, they will probably try and combat probe probe me. It's an open, it's not gated, so I don't have very long. Fortunately, I think there are no scrams, and the boss sp spawns immediately, but we'll see. This is a busy system. A lot of structures. Okay, I'm just going to go for it, see what happens, so agency, what's location, see if we can get in and get out before they realise what's going on. Most of these are one player, Yotax down there is going to be one player, Funalik is going to be one player, so hopefully they're just doing some industry, we've got a Noctis probably salvaging, Rapier, or Rapier. Taxis. That's what I need to kill. What have I got loaded? Ah. They have no idea where I am currently. No combat probes on me yet, so let's go. I've not seen oh, another 29 million. Okay, I've not seen any probes, so I'm gonna salvage it. Just hope it does it quite quickly. Like that. Massive salvage. 
Really? Looks like I just got 27 and a half million salvage out of that one. So uh, that was worth doing. And now our loot table is just creeping up. So let's go find the next escalation, escalation and hope we can leave. What does our loot stand at at the moment? We kind of ignore all this stuff. Ninety-two million so far. Definitely not a horrible evening. Okay, awesome. I just uh, ran another data site on my way to my escalation and it escalated. So now we have a shot at Augmenteds. Which would be nice. Derelict Research Complex DC-014. My worry about these escalations is if they're in an occupied system, I've got to somehow refit. Without uh, giving myself away. But for now, we're going to carry on to the next, because we're only two jumps away, to the next wave of my Trouble in Paradise escalation. Just seven from the, this time. Salvage, salvage, salvage. What are we at? 142. Failure, come on. Oh, come on. My plan is to try and finish off this escalation and hack the other escalation and then I'll probably filament back out to high sec for missiles. I am very low now on my Mjolnir Rage. So running longer sites again here isn't very sensible. I've picked up over 100 million so far with a bit more to go, hopefully. Ah, oh, come on. All right, I don't know what's going on here. Been able to salvage all the others, so I don't know why I'd be fa not be capable of salvaging this one. But I'm going to give up soon. Because this is ridiculous. Last one, and then I am gone. I'm gone. Sub drive active. Very annoying. I don't know why that would have happened. Must have cycled 20, 25 times. Measly 3.8, so not much from that one. But 
as mentioned, we've got the fourth, which should, really should drop something good. Get you get unlucky if you don't get anything out of the fourth location. Oh, what's happening to my salvager? All of a sudden. There we go. And C is worth tons again. Twelve and a half. Twelve and a half million. So, what happened on that last sleep? Was I just not patient enough? Twenty-five cycles? Feels like I was patient enough. Anyway, now let's go and see if we can get the data escalation. Really hope it's a quiet system. to deploy. Let's have a little scan. They've docked up but I want to see what they're going to come out with, if at all. And similarly to, be to before, because it's an escalation, um, it doesn't appear on anyone's scan. They would have to combat probe me. So, again, I can just keep an eye out for combat probes to see if that's what they're doing. But it looks like we've got another data site in here. So maybe I'll go hack that as well. do indeed. So I probably do hack that as well. But I'm going to do my escalation first. Because if it... Oh, two of them. Definitely going to do my escalation first though, because if I come out with something excellent, then... You know, I'll I'll just cut my <laughs> I'll just cut my losses, but that's the wrong way. I'll just take it a run at that point. Anything? Still nothing. So let's refit to get my data analyzer. Use fitting service. Get rid of you. Pop you on. And let's go. Drive active. Keep scanning. We're in range of both structures, at least two structures. Not sure if there are more. Hello. Still in range, yeah. Not a range of gate patrol, that's okay. Right, let's go high security first then, as it's the closest. I'm hopeful, really curious and hopeful to see what we get out of this. 
you can get really, really good stuff. But we'll see. You can, of course, get nothing, but you can get really good stuff. We'll see what we end up with, but I'm hopeful. Hopeful, hopeful, hopeful. harder act unsurprisingly and I sounded surprised okay what do we got augmented ice harvest in drone blueprint that's a good start while we move along let's have a quick look 31 how many runs 120 runs what? 3.7 billion input, 3.1 billion output, okay, so... <laughs> Supposedly losing 600 million on that, but still. 121, 120 run ice harvesting augmented, that's quite exciting. We'll see if they move, I'll hold on to that probably and see if the um, price of stuff moves a bit to make that more viable, but still. And what have we got in the second one? Much, much easier hack. And not really anything, six million. All right, I'll take it, not bad. Not bad at all. Augmented ice. Right. Uh, 12 jumps. We've got a long way to go to get to that. But while Rio Torn's not giving us any issue, we will go and have a see if we can get these ones done. Alrighty. No escalation from those two. So back to the MTU. Swap out um, MTU. Back to the mobile depot. Swap out this for our hardener, and we're gonna go straight the 12 jumps to our final escalation point. Not scanning anything en route. Straight there. So I'll see you over there. Alrighty, jumping into our final system, hopefully. Let's, fingers crossed, no one in local, or at least very quiet. Because this is, um, location 4 is much harder than the other rooms. No one in local. Beautiful. Um, yeah, location 4 is much, much harder. The boss spawn, we're looking for the Hierarchy Hive Queen, uh, doesn't spawn until I think Wave 3, um, and there's quite a lot in Wave 1, by the looks of things. Um, so we'll see if we think we can tank this, or whether we need to clear some stuff off. So high value, but it's all tech two salvage. None of it's drone loot, which I um, is surprised about. 
I mean, I was hoping for some drone stuff, of course. I mean, I'm not gonna, not gonna sniff at 152 million in, in loot. Uh, a heron. Not too worried about a heron. So let's take the bounty for killing this and then let's leave. We got all our stuff, we got a nice bit of loot. Not much by way of drone stuff or faction loot, but that's okay. Just a lot of tech two. So let's just quickly warp sun. And then we can filament back to high sec. Boost. Boost again. Warp. Come on. Jeepers. Um. Alrighty. So yeah, I mean, I'm gonna, as mentioned, I'm now gonna fill him up back. Um. Quite a. Quite a successful evening. Haven't earned like huge sums of money, but really not bad. Plus the augmented drone blueprint um, if I go from let's just go from here down 289 million so let's call it 300 with the drone stuff and the bits I haven't got in here so 300 million which it's now 10 past 1 and we started at 10 to 10 so that's 3 hours 20 um, but a chunk of that actually I did I was filamenting back so let's just call it 3 hours um, and 300 million, so 100 million an hour for what I've just done. Um, and I haven't have been tremendously lucky. Not bad, but not tremendously lucky. And but the big thing for me was it was um, a different way to spend an evening, and I've thoroughly enjoyed myself. Uh, I've got the ship now to go and do that. I'll do it from time to time, um, just to stage out of wormhole and go and do it. But the nice thing is during this event. Isaac filament and I am out and safe once again in Amar. The number of times you end up in Amar is absolutely insane. But there we go. There we have it, guys. Um, yeah, thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, a little bit different for me uh, to go and do that for a bit and just chill. So, um, yeah, I, I enjoyed this evening. I hope you did as well. If you did, like and subscribe, please. Uh, and I'll see you all in the next one. Cheers.